So, as promised, we're at Brimington. Said I'd show you around, didn't I? Oh, this is the team. Hi. Hi, and that's our Trev. This is the one and only Hello. Michelle. She's our funeral director. Hi. And she looks after children and ladies mainly in Mortray. And then on service, she's out conducting. We'll do a close up on her. I'm only kidding. This is him, Kai, aka Rodney. He doesn't say much. Mm -hmm. He'll be on phone soon to a Tony, seeing how he is. Anyway, Brimington, that's it. It's a bloody gorgeous crematorium. As far as crematoriums go, you don't get much nicer than this. Family's inside at the minute, listening to service. And I just thought I'd show you around Brimington. When we're at City Road, I'm going to take you around there. So that's it. Team are waiting, up. family's going to come out down through this door here and come back out and have a look at the flowers. Gardeners, they said, tending grounds. And smell from here, it just, it's stunning. All these roses are really highly scented. What an absolutely beautiful place. This is a credit to them two lads and rest uh, team at Brimington and also Brimington Council. Chesterfield Council, sorry. Hello. Look at flowers. Everything's pristine. Then as family come out, they'll come down there. They're in that room there at the moment, taking the service. They'll come down here. So it's the uh, same colour as Queen's car, it's called Royal Garnet. It's not, it's like a deep plum colour. That's inside hers. Under here there's always a double deck in hers. So that is where we carry wheels and ladders and stuff like that. Stuff that we'll need out on service. These are wheels, so sometimes we have to use them health and safety depending on how heavy somebody is. It's not something that we do a lot, but sometimes we have no choice. So that's the fleet, or one of them. Flowers is put onto there, and that's about it. Right, we're going to say goodbye, Kai. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ah, Trevor. Yeah. Call him Grandad because he's oldest member on company. By a long way. But not all that long, Trev. Trevor's 87. Uh, don't look it, but he's 87. He don't look it, but he's he's doing what he's a. I will tell you something. A lot of people don't employ older generation, but he's got life expect uh, life experience. I'm going to say expectancy. <laughs> Of not a long time. The party's over. The party's over. If any of my team die in service, we had a lad called Mick work for us, he passed away in service. We pay for everything. So they don't pay for anything at all. Uh, we pay for the entire funeral. And that's why Trevor come to us. Well, his wife sent nice. her. Save so Barbara a bit of money. Saves Barbara a bit of money. Uh, look here, look, stern face. Michelle practices for hours looking melancholy. Don't you, Michelle? No, this comes naturally, Michael. That comes naturally, baby. Very natural. It? So that's our, our Michelle. Uh, I never wanted a woman funeral director. It was Cheryl's idea. We advertised for funeral directors, and you applied, didn't you? Yeah. Thirty blokes applied for a job, and Michelle. And when we interviewed everybody, 
Cheryl says, Michelle, she's got more compassion, more feeling. Let's give a lady a try. And nah, that struggle to hire a bloke, to be truthful with you. She's absolutely amazing. I shouldn't say that while she's still here because she'll want more money. Thank you. <laughs> so, while birds are singing and sun's shining, we'll bid you all a good morning. We hope you like the video that we've put on and we'll put another one on at a later date. Probably today, actually, because we're going back to Mortry, so we'll stick some on then. I've been talking for five minutes and 36 seconds. That's about it. Ta-da.